Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the beer review guy. I have uh, one of my buddies, uh, buddy Neil, Neil French, one of homebrews. I have his, uh, I want to try to remember that he said it was like an IPA or like a Blue Moon, kind of, or something like that. I think he just meant that it's kind of a citrusy type beer, I don't know. But the history of this beer this here is about uh, six or seven months old um, when I first started doing reviews I did a review on this and <clears throat> I didn't do a very good job as because I was like a big-time new guy you know and not familiar with reviewing beers so I've been trying to find an opportunity to re-review his beer for him so uh, that's what I'm doing right now so, if y'all are not interested in homebrew reviews, <laughs> you don't have to watch this. I don't. I, I'm not making you. <laughs> so, uh, but I but I do wanted to do this for him. So uh, he's kind of the reason why I ended up started doing reviews. Um, he kind of got me started because I uh, started doing the reviews on his homebrews. He was letting me have just so that he could see what I thought of it, like firsthand, right when I took a drink. And then he says, hey man, you ought to start doing beer reviews. And I was like, <clears throat> beer reviews? What do you mean? On YouTube, they review beers. I'm like, really? So I got on there and found a whole new world on here. <laughs> so, uh, so I'm gonna do this for him. I was looking at it a little bit ago. And like I said, this is like a little over six or seven months old. It's got some, you probably can't see it's brown bottle, but there are some moss chunks in here, man. So, uh, I don't really like chewing my beer. I think it's just some yeast and fermentation or something that's might have got loose off his fermenter or something. I don't know nothing about home brews, so if you can tell well let's see let's see how this tastes six or seven months old wow it's got a monster head going on there smells good <clears throat> hmm it has that IPA kind of blue moon type characteristic aroma Kind of sweet, kind of maybe a little sour. Might be because it's a little older. It's got about a two finger head right now, kind of uh, loose. The head is going really fast. It's got an orange IPA look to it, hazy, very carbonated. The head is like an off-white. Bubbles are mostly, mostly big, but it's got that, that kind of soda pop head to it, kind of like right now, kind of like a root beer head. Yeah, orange. Hazy. I already said that. And there goes all the little chunkies. All the little chunkies. Those little chunkies up here. <laughs> up here in the, in the head. <laughs> oh, gee. I don't know what it is, Neil. Yeah, kind of a a sour sour and sweet smell. Okay. Let's see.
Whoa. <clears throat> okay. He said these were 5% alcohol, by the way. Yeah. It's been, uh, it's been doing a constant fermentation over the time period. He's had these sitting in his closet. I don't know if you can get a view on that or not. Let me put it up there and see. The little, the little, uh, the little chunkies are all <laughs> floating around inside there. Hmm. It's got a light carbonation burn. Um. <clears throat> actually has a little bit of a maybe a little orange peel in there I don't know what hops he used to make this but it might have had the hops might have been had something that had to do with orange peel excuse me very carbonated um, let's see what the body is It's got a medium body. It's kind of dry on the back end. Sweet up front. Wow, I'm tasting that alcohol. It tastes like it might have it might have gained some percentage. This kind of tastes it's kind of tasting like a little above a five percent. Hmm. But it's a it's a good it's a good beer. I'm gonna drink on it the rest of the evening. Um Yeah. He's got a couple other ones <coughs> I wanna do over there. He's got a half a wisen and a blondale that I'll do here pretty soon for him. The ones that he had for party favors at his wedding. So uh I'll be doing those pretty soon. But if you watch this this homebrew review, I appreciate it. Um, if you not, if you don't, I totally understand. Okay, I'm going to end it there, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.